and welcome to Francis Insights. One question I get a lot is how many banks are going to fail? Well, let's just look at the math. In 1929, we had a debt to cash ratio of 290% and over 5,000 banks failed. In October 2007, when the market started selling off, the debt to cash ratio was 370%. In 1929, only 20% of citizens owned their homes. In 2007, almost 70% of citizens owned a home. So we have a lot more debt to begin with. We have a larger debt to cash ratio. And then with all of the liquidity added by the stimulus packages and TARP money, as that liquidity begins to dry up and becomes more of a debt obligation and the velocity of money, money slows and the physical cash in circulation continues to shrink, we know that banks will have shortages and therefore failures. In 2008, 25 banks failed. In 2009, 140 banks failed. So you can see the acceleration there. So far in 2010, we have 67 bank failures. We have 702 banks on the troubled bank list, which means they are at risk for failure. We have to ask ourselves, how is the FDIC going to cover all of these losses? Well, they've taken a credit line out at the Treasury. With health care, um, homeowners and benefits and assets and everything that is going to be tapped into a credit line from the Treasury, we have to ask ourselves, where is it going to end? How are we going to be able to print enough money to pay for all of our liabilities? Something to think about. We will see more bank failures and we will see the acceleration of more bank failures as this inevitable liquidity becomes more of a debt obligation. Thank you so much for joining us.